I'm a visual artist. American Sign Language. And I thought, how can I represent that? One of the great things about being an artist in Minnesota is that there's an atmosphere of pushing boundaries here. All of the art forms do that, so when I moved the company here, I felt right at home in trying to push the edges of our art form. We're a company of 10 dancers, um, ballet-based, but I love exploring elements of modern, of improvisation, and combining it ways to push the boundaries of what the art form can do, although we do sometimes still do the occasional classical pas de deux to give people their tutu fix. In collaboration with the National Endowment for the Arts and the State Art Boards of Minnesota, I have been able to take my company to over 60 communities. From a deaf family. I come from a deaf family. I grew up in the deaf community. I grew up in the deaf community. Love the deaf world. And I cherish the deaf world. Culture. It's my culture. My it's my language. Sign American Sign Language. The energy the movement, the life of the language. How can I capture that as an artist on canvas? And then I thought, oh, Jackson, Jackson Pollock. So I thought, hmm, suppose I dipped my hands in instead of paintbrushes. What would happen? And then I noticed each sign, the pattern represented to that sign would manifest differently, and I kept track of that. The Anderson Center and myself, we thought, well, why not have a deaf group of artists come together? Because in the United States, there are over 500 residency programs for artists, and there wasn't one that was accessible to deaf artists. The Deaf Artist Residency Program wouldn't be there without the National Endowment for the Arts. The Duluth Playhouse is the oldest community-based theater in the state of Minnesota. It's also one of the oldest in our entire nation. We have a very Minnesotan collaborative spirit in our neck of the woods. It is with the arts board's encouragement, their awareness, and their funding that we are able to continue to provide important opportunities for the region that we serve. I'm Sichangu Lakota through my mom, German and Welsh through my dad. I'm an artist and curator. I'm predominantly a painter, but I also do mixed media work, and my mixed media work draws from uh, traditions of Lakota arts and aesthetics, so I do porcupine quill work and beadwork, and sometimes those things mix with my painting. Minnesota is Dakota and Ojibwe homeland, so for me, tribally, this is where my people are from. And through my work, I utilize abstraction to bring out larger conversations so that people can get an introduction into some of the realities of our communities. The National Endowment for the Arts and the Minnesota State Arts Board are places that allow artists to learn, grow, thrive, build sustainable practices. Thanks to this funding, we are able to take what we do all over the state of Minnesota in a way that would not be possible. Thank you, National Endowment for the Arts, and happy 50th anniversary.